Good morning, Paul Georgi from Allendale. It's September 1st, 2010. The uh, U.S. dollar index is down 86. Crude is up 74. Stock market uh, indices are uh, sharply higher here this morning. Gold uh, slightly higher, $2 higher in the uh, September contract. Uh, this news normally uh, is supported to the grains, and that's what we're seeing here this morning. Corn anywhere from four to six higher is the call. Uh, that's where it closed here on the electronic session. We expect that uh, it will stay strong uh, going into the uh, the open outcry unless uh, there's breaking uh, news that would change that uh, type of attitude. But some of the uh, factors and news stories, there's been a lot of tidbits out here uh, overnight. Uh, Grassley uh, talked at the uh, farm show yesterday in Iowa, and he expects that the EPA is going to approve that 15% blend, however, with a lot of restrictions, so it may not uh, uh, all take effect at one time, but uh, he's looking for something uh, coming from the EPA on that. Uh, but you also got to realize that he has been a big promoter proponent of uh, the ethanol usage. Uh, China feed meal processors are uh, concerned about high prices and availability of corn in their area, uh, although uh, harvest is getting very near uh, a time where uh, new crop corn will be accessible for them. So they're in a, in a period of time here where uh, they need more supplies for a short period of time until this uh, this new crop becomes available. And that's certainly a supporting price there. Corn, however, overnight uh, closed at a new high for the move, uh, around 446. That upside target, 449 and 3 quarters, 450, is uh, certainly in the cards. Another thing that's going on in the, uh, the corn market is uh, the attitude by many traders and belief that the uh, funds will come in and be big buyers here at the beginning of September, beginning of the month. I think uh, that if they don't come in and, and show some support here in the next uh, 24 hours or so, uh, we could see some evening up of positions ahead of that uh, holiday weekend here uh, that's just ahead of us. In the soybean complex, uh, rain moving across southern uh, uh, Midwest here should help double crop beans. Uh, also, uh, China uh, has announced that they may auction off 1.5 million tons of soybeans in an attempt to control price uh, rallies in China. That would be uh, out of the state-owned reserve. They're also coming into uh, harvest uh, of soybeans in, uh, in China here very soon. Uh, in the wheat uh, is probably where we got the most news. Uh, it appears like it isn't all friendly, but wheat prices overnight are higher, as much as uh, 10 to 14 higher here uh, at the close of the electronic session. Uh, Russia did announce that they are changing their decree that they will allow exports of grains uh, for humanitarian reasons and for humanitarian commitments that they have made. So that... Uh, uh, has shown a, a break in the armor that uh, they maybe uh, they've got more wheat than what the overall uh, world and trade believes. Uh, China only sold 7.4 percent, or just a little over 100,000 tons, of a wheat weekly wheat offering that they have uh, made. So that's uh, certainly not a, a bullish sign either this morning, and. Um, we do have uh, Germany that has bought 20,000 tons of U.S. wheat, hard wheat, uh, for the first time in three years. So uh, a little positive uh, news there. Uh, wheat markets expected to be higher, recovering on uh, technical reasons and uh, looking for fund buying in that contract as well. In the uh, cattle trade, uh, not much news right now. The Cutout values are uh, slightly lower overnight or yesterday afternoon, down 10 cents in choice, uh, down 74 cents in select. Uh, cash is still inactive in uh, most areas. A uh, few had have moved, but nothing that uh, you can uh, get a, a price trend on. So we're going to be watching that uh, very closely today. Russia did announce that their beef production for the month of July was 11.1% greater than 
the month of July last year and uh, news out of Argentina that they are uh, the slaughter houses in Argentina are becoming very concerned about their profitability the supply of cattle because if you remember a year ago they were were uh, slaughtering a lot of cattle because they wanted to uh, uh, use this land for soybean production or grain production so that uh, is coming to uh, cause some problems there and cause some problems for the packing industry in Argentina. Uh, pork uh, cutout values were lower. Uh, Russia put their pork production at 11.5 percent above uh, last year July so uh, more supply there. Pork uh, futures are in uh, right near technical support here today if we uh, break this uh, 70 uh, 430 area, a uh, critical number. If we uh, close below there, expect more selling pressure to uh, ensue as if uh, funds come in and sell. So a lot of things going on here. Uh, we also got the Allendale uh, yield survey results that will be announced on Friday morning at 730. Uh, there's also a few more uh, firms that are going to be putting out numbers this week. So uh, other things to watch for as uh, we move along here in this uh, first day of September. If you got any questions, give us a call, 800-262-7538. We wish you a successful trading day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.